What's up? This is Box of Wave. I've just finished watching the Chris Ariola Upper Main Stavern rematch. It was a really good fight, alright? Uh, Stavern stopped Ariola in the sixth round, okay? Now, let me speak on a few things. Uh, shout out to ESPN for putting this fight together. I'm glad that they're stepping up, taking big fights, okay? Uh, they recently had the Clisco fight on this channel a couple weeks um, uh, on their channel, on their network a couple weeks ago. And now they had this fight. This this fight was uh, promoted decent. You know, I seen a lot of commercials. Um, I seen I seen them talk about it on Sports Center and stuff like that. So, shout out to ESPN for you know uh, promoting this fight and doing a good job. You know, I would like to see them take more fights. It was free. We didn't have to pay for it. It wasn't on HBO and Showtime. So, you know, I'm glad to see that they're doing that now. As far as the fight. Um, it was a good fight, you know, I thought it was competitive. I had Chris Ariola up one round by one round. Uh, I thought Stavern won the first round. He hurt Ariola at the end of the first round. The second, third, and fourth I gave to Ariola because of his work rate, higher work rate. And the fifth round I gave to Stavern. Stavern started to outbox him a little bit in the fifth round. Started looking like he did in the uh, the first fight, you know, he was using his legs more. And he was using his jab, and um, it started to look like, you know, Stavern. You know what it is? Just like Teddy Atlas said at the end of the fight, Chris Ariola just, he just didn't have any room for error, okay? Stavern, no matter how much he got hit, and he got hit with some bombs in this fight, he never really looked that hurt, you know. He looked very confident. He was talking trash to Ariola the entire fight, no matter how many times he got fit. Those, the second and third and fourth fight, uh, second, third and fourth round, Severn got hit with a lot of punches. Okay, a lot of power punches. All right, and he still looked very confident. You know, it was a lot of rope dope going on in there, and um, he finished him off in the sixth round. He knocked him down with a, a huge right hand, and after that. He just finished them off, you know. Um, it was a good fight, you know. It was good to see, like, you know, I was on Twitter the whole time. It's good to see a lot of people. It's playoff bas it's, uh, basketball playoffs going on right now. And a lot of people was watching this fight instead. So it was good to see that. Um, a lot of people was watching the fight. A lot of people that don't even watch boxing was on ESPN watching the fight, okay. Um, one last thing. The, uh, the next opponent for Severn, WBC. Uh, he's a WBC champ now, first Haitian w uh, heavyweight champion. Deontay Wilder is the mandatory, okay? But it's looking like Vladimir Klitschko is going to swoop in and take the fight before him because he wants to unify the titles, okay? I am hoping Deontay Wilder gets the fight for a, a whole lot of num num for a, a number of reasons. Let me explain why. I've been wanting to see Deontay Wilder fight one of these two for a long time. I've said it in videos. Even when I first started my channel, I, I wanted Wilder to fight a guy like Ariola, somebody like Stavern. I wanted Ariola to, um, I wanted Deontay Wilder to finally step up and fight a guy like one of these two, okay? Second of all, I think it would be more competitive. Deontay Wilder against Stavern or Ariola. I don't want to see Klitschko go in there and beat. I think Klitschko can beat all of these guys. You know, we already know Klitschko is the best. I just want to see a good fight, a good entertainment fight, entertaining fight to me. I am not a fan, personal fan of watching the Klitschko's fight. You know, I just, uh, or at least Vladimir, you know, I like Vitaly a little bit more, but he's retired and I just don't want to see the fight. You know, I think Klitschko would beat Stavern. He would beat Ariola. He probably could beat Deontay Wilder as well, but um, I want to see. I wanted to see Wilder fight uh, Severn first. You know, I, I will hope Wilder gets this fight. If not, then Klitschko. You know, Klitschko wants to unify the titles. I mean, he definitely deserves it. I'm not taking anything away from Klitschko. He definitely deserves whatever he wants. You know, I mean, he's put in the work. His brother retired, and now he wants to. You know, but um, we'll see what happens. You know, um. We'll see what Stavern takes uh, or whoever. I don't know, you know. I don't know what's going to happen. But Deontay Wilder is definitely definitely the mandatory. All right, so that's it. I'm not going to speak too long. It was a great fight. I'm glad ESPN stepping it up. And I hope they got the uh, appropriate amount of, of views they wanted 
to continue this boxing thing, you know. Um, I hope it works out. So anyway, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter. Peace.